what's up divine masculine fire signs so aries leo sagittarius sun signs what's up kings queens and everything in between i am austria of unbothered queen and today i'll be doing a general love message for divine masculine black card wanted to come out for divine masculine um sun signs fire sun signs here maybe for the first week of june through the first week uh, i'm sorry first week of july through the first week of august here all right spirit queen princess messages please you guys can be coming into contact with your divine masculine i'm sorry divine feminine during this time here all right oh we have some sort of avoidance or stalemate that you guys may be experiencing all right we have air so gemini libra aquarius so some of you guys are dealing with a gemini libra or an aquarius here one more card spirit all right and the past lack suffering so someone is holding on to the past and they are suffering because of it um, family, home, commitment. That's the overall energy here. Yeah, realizing your self-worth and having certain um, values and expectations are going to bring you the joy that you want here. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more energy for you guys here. So let's see what um, energy in the past is moving out here. Let's see what energy in the past is moving out here. Thank you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun. All right. We have happiness. You bring me more happiness than I could ever imagine. That energy is moving out. We also have risk, take a risk or lose the chance. That is the question. This is your current energy here. What's the challenge here, spirit? What's the challenge? All right, a new beginning. Let's forget the past and take a, cha take a chance and start again. So you're finding it hard to have a new beginning with someone here. Yeah, some sort of love hate dynamic i'm angry but i still love you just hate what you do was shattered somebody hurt your feelings i'm feeling broken and can't stop these racing thoughts it could have possibly been in a third party situation all right what's coming in spirit what are their intentions or what are the intentions of who, whomever's coming in and what doesn't fire sign divine masculine know what doesn't divine masculine know spirit divine masculine fire sign and the more sanctuary sun sign all right rejection all right so some sort of rejection is coming in your rejection has been the catalyst for change nostalgia it's been hard not to think of what used to be and then we have playing games playing around having fun didn't mean to waste your time all right all right we also have differences at the back a lot of you could be having arguments with someone that you are very different from or is not your usual type of person that you normally date here relationship that you guys had here yeah okay we, we already know that okay all right maybe someone was very slow to commit to you here 
they didn't want to really have a new beginning here they refused an offer of a new beginning um possibly another fire sign which is an aries or a taurus here also cancer energy here of Cups, the Chariot, and the Nine of Pentacles here. Alright, so we have the Five of, of Cups here. The um, Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Reverse. And then the Seven of Swords here. Someone was taking their time because they wanted to be sure that this was something that was for them. Um, some of you may have been dealing with someone also trying to get away from another situation here. Um, yeah. They could have also revealed this to you. You also could have been dealing with someone that was impatient here. Okay. So you may have been in a place where feeling like um, you were recovering from something or you needed some sort of closure to something here. And while you were still healing from this, a new person came in that you may have um, felt a lot of love for here. But I'm getting something about moving away from this person. Like, I'm getting like a three, like a third party situation here. Like, somebody didn't know what they wanted. Yeah, somebody didn't know what they wanted. They weren't honest about wanting stability or not here. Yeah, that's why you're feeling like this is a risk in your current moment or your current energy here. What's the risk, spirit? What's the risk? What's the risk here, spirit? What's the risk? What's the risk? All right, two of wands, making a decision. Yeah, making a decision that you feel like um, may be successful you know but it also is the end of a cycle here so this could be someone that you've gone back and forth with you could be dealing with a leo taurus aquarius or a scorpio you also could be dealing with a fire sign another fire sign aries leo sagittarius here but this is definitely a sense of um, taking a risk to commit to someone and no longer putting them maybe in a third party situation or maybe this is what um, your person is doing for you yeah, you're seeing something very clearly. You're seeing definitely how you view um, disappointment here. And you're also feeling like this person may disappoint you. But yeah, some definitely a third party situation was taking place. You see those threes at some point in time. Gemini energy here as well as Taurus with the King of Swords. It could have even been a situation in the past that you dealt with someone that could have mimicked someone's behaviors and it was like um this person triggered you hmm. what is the decision about the recognition and what is the world about what cycle is ending here so give me the two of wands the six and the world card please spirit so concise messages please thank you all right, nine of swords. Yeah, you're being open and honest about what you want to do move forward. You're you see exactly what you want. You're making conscious thoughts um, and taking conscious action here. Um, some of you guys may feel like you're dealing with someone that is a um, is some sort of, have, you have some sort of spirit contract with or spiritual connection with. All right, yeah, like I said, you're healing here with this um, temperance card, Sagittarius's energy. You could possibly be giving a Sagittarius recognition here or giving them the recognition that they wanted. But I'm definitely getting this is that you are figuring out exactly what you want moving forward. Realizing that you have the power and have optimism in this relationship. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. You're deciding to make it make this work, to work on this, this commitment here. Yeah, for some of you, you're reconciling with someone um, that you possibly uh, had a failed relationship with in the past here. This could be, again, a Gemini or a Taurus with the King of Swords here, or you're moving away from unrealistic um, views of, of love here. Unrealistic expectations of love. 
and you're able to heal yourself to be able to move forward. All right, what's the new beginning here, Spirit? What's the new beginning here? the king of wands as it is energy again as well as well as scorpio all right magician card aries gemini energy and the ace of wands aries leo sag all right so your challenge is actually taking the um initiative to do this you know um yeah, Queen of Pentacles at the back, Pisces and Aries energy with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Lover's card, Gemini. Some of you guys definitely deal with the Gemini card. I mean, the Gemini card with the Gemini. Mm. Or these can these um, can definitely be in your in your um, chart as well. And this is just clarification. But this is definitely a sense of you taking the reins of, like, the control of a um, situation and deciding to move forward. Understanding that this is something that you've manifested and now you're getting it. Don't be afraid of it. Because for a lot of you, you felt like, you know, a lot of relationships weren't going the way that you wanted them to go. And you were kind of almost giving up. But now something is coming about and you're like, okay. But I, I have to take a leap. I have to I have to be the person that, you know, kind of moves this along here. And you're a very charismatic person. But also, uh, don't be sure that you have a good balance between your work life and your love life here. Don't um, give too much to one or the other. Because you're not going to be happy if you do. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles here. Definitely nurturing here being very nurturing capricorn energy with the queen of pentacles as well as sagittarius that's crazy okay with the ten of pentacles and it is right here as well ten of pentacles here with the king of wands sagittarius energy as well as scorpio again okay okay i hear you so this is all about you deciding that you want to want to nurture some sort of commitment and have a new beginning with someone someone that you could feel um a, an affinity to and someone that you feel like you can grow with but someone that you could also feel like it's not um is different from you you know yeah but you are you are moving in a place of wanting to heal to be able to do this because like i said you could have felt like you gave your a lot of yourself to relationships in the past you're not really in a place of wanting to do that in the future here all right spirit wise rejection here wise rejection here spirit wise rejection here all right we have seven of wands here we have the Knight of Swords here, Aquarius energy, as well as Capricorns. And we have the Four of Cups. All right, so it looks like you guys are being very defensive in regards to love about any people that, that are moving too fast for you. You know, um, <laughs> you're refusing a lot of offers here. You're definitely like turning people down. Like, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to, to do that because I don't, you know, it's like, how can I say that? Okay, so you're in a place where you're thinking analytic. I'm sorry, analytic. I'm sorry, you guys. You guys don't know what the freak I'm trying to say, though. So you're seeing things, and, you know, people are just moving way too fast. They're, they're seeing you, and they're wanting to be with you. They're seeing what you have to offer, the type of energy that you, you give, and they're trying to, like, bring something from that. And a lot of you guys are like, wait, hold up. You know, you're not ready to do all of that, and <laughs> that's a struggle. You know, it's a struggle for um, other people to understand that, understand that you're not ready to move as fast as they are so people are taking that as rejection here yeah and you also could be dating a lot of people during this time or someone could feel like they are or you could be doing like some friends with benefits shit here as well 
but these people are wanting to move it to some sort of like connection connection they, they're wanting to move it to some sort of commitment and you may not necessarily be ready for that right now so but you're like feeling like you let them know this moving in so you're not understanding like where the confusion lies you know but people are definitely trying to transform whatever you guys have going on with this person and move it into something else here yeah with the three of swords in the reverse there it's like a new love is definitely coming in and they're trying to be like well i can heal you i can heal you i can help you want to move forward you can you can see my love yeah someone's definitely they feel like this shit is faded they they want you okay they feel like this is faded. Come on. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with air signs. A lot of air here. What's nostalgia spirit? Nostalgia, please. You could be dealing with someone from your past here with, with this here, but or this person could be coming in, you know. Or you could also be triggered, is what I'm getting for some of you. For some old shit. Yep. Three of cups. Seven of cups. You're thinking about taking somebody from the past back. Yeah, three of pentacles. This could have been a person that you were in a third party situation with. Whether or not you did it or not is not important. But you're thinking about getting back together with someone that you were in um, in union with before here. Yeah, because this person made you happy in the past. You know, um, yeah, period. This person made you happy in the past. And you see that now um, for some of you that... You could have felt like you did this person wrong or something like that. Leo energy with the sun card. All right, give me the three of cups, the seven of cups, and the three of pentacles here, please, spirit. It's like you're rethinking the, the situation. You're reflecting on what you did in this situation to want to move forward. Yeah, two of cups in the reverse. You could have made this person feel like you didn't care about this person or that this love was unrequited here. You could have also been a bit um, toxic when it comes to this person and now you're in a place where you're wanting to offer stability because at you know at that point um this is all that this person was offering to you and this is pisces energy as well as aquarius here with the king of cups yeah nine of wands in the reverse you're tired of you're tired of this blocked energy here you're also tired of delaying the inevitable for a lot of you with this particular person you want to release your burdens onto this person and tell them how you feel because for a lot of you, you've been holding it in for some time you could be feeling like this person is your divine feminine here all right what's playing games here what's playing games because what's playing games who's playing games that's better. Oh, that's better. All right, the moon card, Cancer energy. Some say also Pisces. We got the page of wands. Someone's being childish here and kind of um, concealing their feelings. Yeah, and how they give to you. Yeah, because they may be seeing them like they're bright priming you at this time here. Yeah, devil card in the reverse, Capricorn energy. Again, with the this person is in love with you though, with the two of cups, but they don't show it. They are very toxic here. Um, they are definitely um, codependent. They are in a place of ego here, living in illusions. With the king of swords here, this person is probably very manipulative and able to kind of outthink you sometimes. Um, Taurus energy as well as well as well as Gemini's here. All right, Spirit, give me the moon here. The moon, the page of wands, and the six of pentacles. You can really feel like this person is a narcissist or just very um, childish here. And I'm getting multiple energies here. So you guys, please take this as it resonates and only take what resonates with you. All right, yeah, see, this person doesn't want to commit me here, Taurus energy. Even though they see you as the Empress Taurus Libra energy, um, they're just not telling you. They're just not telling you how they feel. They fucking love you. They're in love with you. But they're not being open and honest about how they feel about you. But yeah, they're not moving towards you, Queen of Wands, in the reverse. This person is very... Um, um, self-loathing they feel like they don't have the power to come towards you here they don't feel like you would take them back even if they did come towards you with the three of cups and the reverse because they feel like they can't really offer you any level of stability or that they don't have anything to really offer you here all right all right let's get the near future here spirit 
All right, so Spirit said, don't worry about that. We're going to do these cards. All right, clear and concise messages, please. All right, so we have upgrade. Your life is about to upgrade. So some of you guys are upgrading financially as well as romantically. You could be um, dealing with this person in the 5D for a lot of you. Um, or, no, that's what it is. You may be having out-of-body experiences. You may be visiting this person astrally. Someone is mimicking everything that you do. You could be dealing with your twin flame as well here. Codependency, a codependent relationship. So, yeah, I, I already said that, but spirit wanted to like really like drill that shit home all right let's go ahead and get the signs that you guys are um likely dealing with during this time here all right so we have mars so aries energy we have capricorn and we have leo here all right as well as pisces so I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also check out my other social media platforms. All that information is in the description box below. Um, I appreciate all of your love and support. And I send it back to you guys tenfold. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.